the economy just slid into pain territory. Yes, it's true. Hey, everybody, you're watching Bull Boom Bear Bust. It is Tuesday, May 31st, 2022. Thank you for being here. A lot of economic news to get into. We've also got a channel update towards the end of this video, so stay tuned just for a little inside information on this uh, channel regarding the outro music. Some of you are asking, where'd the music go? <laughs> it's a long story. We'll save that for the end. Let's get right into the economic news today. The economy just slid into pain territory. First point, consumers in all-time high debt. Now combine that with the rising interest rates. Combine that with the cost of living continuing to go higher. The cost of automobiles, fuel, housing, including rent and home prices still going up. Yes, there are a couple cities where prices are starting to come down. Chicago, we talked about that a few reports ago. But mostly overall, 99.9% .9 prices still rising. And now we're starting to see the jobless claims pick up. But something else that we talk about here quite frequently is automobiles. And people are pulling back on purchasing newer automobiles now. And as a result of that, we see the average age of a car in the U.S. is up to 12.2 years old. That hit a new record. So with these prices, people are keeping their vehicle on the road longer. And instead of trading in their vehicle after 8, 9, 10 years, the average is now a 12-year-old vehicle. Or it also could be somebody just sells their vehicle and buys a new one. But with this age getting higher and higher, uh, that should be just another signal about the position of the average U.S. consumer right now buried under so much debt. And they see the vehicle prices and they're choosing to hold on to their vehicles and just do the necessary maintenance and just keeping that car on the road as long as possible. And this is true for most people. In fact, most people say that their financial situation is worsening. And bottom line, there's just not enough good paying jobs to keep up with these rising costs. Yes, there's a lot of jobs. There's record job openings. Uh, there's a labor shortage because places can't find enough people to work. But are these good paying jobs? Well, the answer is no for the most part. And that's why they'll see the cost of living and they figure, why even try? I might as well just stay at home uh, living with mom and dad or whoever. Or might as well move into a tent or a van. Uh, and yes, there's a lot of people deciding to uh, not even jump in and run in the hamster wheel. Because the cost of living, a lot of people are checking out. Van life is exploding. Uh, tent cities are exploding throughout the uh, United States. Uh, more and more people choose to stay at home. So yes, a lot of people are just checking out of the labor force. One of the big reasons why you see this labor shortage out there. Uh, but a lot of these jobs just do not pay good enough to keep up, uh, to keep your head above water in this rat race. And there was a recent survey found just this, the majority of people here that were surveyed in the U.S. say their financial situation is worsening. And this was a Harvard Caps Harris survey, and just 20% out of those surveyed said that their financial situation was getting better. And that goes right along with what we've been seeing here uh, for a while now. About 70% of the U.S. Uh, the U.S. population lives paycheck to paycheck. So, 20 to 30% of these other people um, might say that things are getting better or staying the same, but it's no surprise that most people are finding things getting much worse for their cost of living and for their bank accounts. And to add to this, a study finds article tells us that two and three adults have actually avoided social events because they're embarrassed about their financial struggles. And this survey reveals that the average American believes that they'll need an income of $86,000 to feel comfortable financially. And the average person in this uh, poll, in this survey, says that they believe it's going to be about 38 years to ever pay off their credit card debt. Uh, the problem with that is by the time next year and the year after rolls around, uh, they're probably going to have more debt. And people later in life down the road oftentimes uh, find or make the sad discovery that the debt will never be paid off, that you're going to end up in debt for life. And I think a reason a lot of people avoid these social events or they feel insecure about 
people finding out about their financial situation is because they believe that it's just them. They don't understand that it's most people. And that's one of the things I try to stress on this channel. If you're in debt, if you're having a hard time, it's not you. It's a lot of people are in the same boat. So while some people look at this as bad news, what we talk about here on this channel, um, it may be at least a little comforting to find out that um, you're not the Lone Ranger, that a lot of people are in this boat. Most people live paycheck to paycheck. Most people are under debt right now. Uh, most people are stressed out. They're under some sort of, uh, they're on some sort of medication. A lot of those people, because they're depressed uh, because of the financial situation. So if we can get a positive message out of this, uh, that would be uh, keep your head up. Um, it's not something that um, can be avoided. Sometimes just choosing to participate in a modern society means you're going to have to go in sometimes a lot of debt just to keep up. Also, we see more and more people choosing to not just do the normal or what people once considered normal, uh, grow up, get married, have kids, start a family. Uh, more people are just deciding to stay away from that whole um, path that a lot of people think is the way to do it. Um, the birth rate's dropping and people are wondering, you know, how are they going to have kids and afford it? They can barely afford themselves uh, to feed themselves. How are they going to afford raising a family. So it's getting pretty interesting. And it's no surprise that we're seeing the birth rate dropping. And even the cost of eating out has some people in a very, very difficult position with the pandemic fading away and more people going back to the office. People are realizing how much more expensive it is to eat out. And they're feeling the pinch in what's called lunchflation. Returning to the office is costing us a fortune. So combine that with everything else that's going up in cost, the fuel prices, especially people commuting back and forth to work. And uh, the bankruptcy storm is headed this way very, very quickly. The second half of 2022 is going to be a doozy. Now let's shift gears just a little bit here. For those of you that were asking, where did the outro music go? Well, I stopped doing it. Um, basically, here's what happened. Uh, someone put in a complaint that I was uh, cross promoting and what that means is that I was trying they're saying I was trying to use this channel to promote my music which is actually not true a lot of channels have outro and intro music I was just trying to be a little bit different in using my own music for the channel instead of using someone else's music but someone else viewed that whoever complained on me viewed that as cross promoting so I took away the music I don't want anyone here to think that this channel is to promote music. It's definitely not that. The focus should be on the financial situation, the economy, um, your money and my money, uh, because you're going to need to um, be extra focused uh, as this economy continues to go into the twilight zone. And in fact, if you look at uh, below the videos in the descriptions, I don't have any links down there, zero affiliate links. And uh, yeah, so if you look down there, zero affiliate links, no links of any kind, yet there's other channels out there that have, I see dozens and dozens of links, but yet my channel gets dinged for the outro music, right? <laughs> pretty pretty crazy. Um, thank you to everyone that's here for supporting me. Also, thank you for whoever sent me the super thanks. I really appreciate that, especially, uh, you know, not having any affiliate links. I really uh, appreciate your support, helping keeping this channel alive and, uh, showing your appreci appreciation for my presentations here, my research uh, and information. Thank you all very, very much for tuning in today. And, uh, and back to the outro music thing, it's really crazy because I know, I even know about a channel that was charging people to go watch um, uh, training videos on how to shoot machine guns. And yet my channel gets dinged for outro music. Uh, <laughs> crazy, uh, but thanks everybody for your support. I really appreciate it. Uh, be well, stay safe, keep stacking. Bye for now, everybody. Peace.